hello guys welcome back to tech dose and in this video we will talk how to solve find repeating and missing number problem so let us look at the problem statement the problem says that you will be given a number n which will assume a sequence starting from 1 2 3 to n now you have entered an array where one number is missing and one number is repeating so your array size is n itself but one number is missing so in this case i have given an example 1 2 2 4 this is your entered array then the repeating number is 2 you can see that repeating number is 2 and the missing number is 3 because the n value was 4 and so the numbers should have been 1 2 3 and 4 but you entered 1 2 2 4 by the way this array is unsorted i have taken as sorted but it can be unsorted so one naive approach or the brute force approach is that you do sorting on the entire array so once the elements are sorted like in this case the elements will be 1 2 2 4 once they are sorted you can just traverse from left to right and then find which number is repeating itself because repeating numbers will be adjacent and you can also find which number is missing so this is a very simple way and this will take order of n log n time so the time is also good but how to improve on this naive approach one better approach is that when you are given this array 1 2 2 4 then what we can do is we can make a present array this is of boolean type present boolean type and it will be of the size of the array so it will be 1 2 3 and 4 now you will just traverse this array from left to right you will traverse from left to right initially the present values will all be false since none of the values are assumed to be present now you are seeing one and so you can see that one is false so you will make it true you will move to the next element it's two for two you can see that it's false so you will make it true you move on to the next element it is two now you go to two and you can see that it's already true so when you go to an element and you find that it's already true then that element must be repeating because all the elements were set to false so you found the repeating element repeating element is 2 here now you move to the next element 4 you go to this location 4 you make it true since it is false so all the elements have been traversed now and you found your repeating number but what about the missing number now for the missing number you start traversing this present array from left to right and as soon as you find a false that will be your missing number so in this case false is for 3 so your missing number will be 3 so this is an efficient approach which is over this naive approach so this will take a time of o n but it is also taking an extra space of o n so what more can we do to improve this solution we can improve this by using some mathematical tricks so let us look at that trick let us assume that our array is 1 2 2 4 the sum of n numbers you already know that it's n into n plus 1 by 2 and sum of n squared numbers is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 so i have already written the formula so you have these four numbers and your original sequence should have been 1 2 3 4 so if this was your original sequence then the sum of n numbers will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and it will come out to be 10 the sum of squared of these numbers will be 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square that will be 30 now since you already know these formulas you can derive a formula so that you will be able to find the missing number and repeating number so let's assume that missing number equals to x and repeating number is equals to y now i will solve this algebraically let's say we take four numbers w x y z w x y z this is our real sequence the sequence which it should have been and then you wrote the sequence as w y y and z this is your input now when you add them up then this first sequence is the required sequence which is sum of n numbers the second sequence will be sum of your array elements and the array elements you inputted will consist a repeating number and a missing number so i have created the same case now when you subtract sum of array from some numbers then what will it be this w will be cancelled this y will be cancelled z will be cancelled and your result will be x minus y 
so when you subtract sum of the array elements from the sum of n numbers then the result will be x minus y now we take a different case we took the n square elements right so we will create the same case here let's say we have w square plus x square plus y square plus z square this is the sum of n square this this one okay so this will be sum n2 and the second one will be w square plus y square plus y square plus z square this is the sum a square now when you subtract this sum a square from this sum a square from this sum n square then what will be the value in this case this w square will get cancelled this y square will get cancelled z square will get cancelled so the result which will come is x square minus y square this can also be written as x plus y into x minus y so i have already calculated the values in our case as you can see sum of n was equals to 10 and sum of the array elements is equals to 9 so x minus y will be equals to 10 minus 9 which will come out to be 1 and in the second case you can see that sum of n square is 30 this is 30 and sum of a square is 25 so sum of n square minus sum of a square is equals to 5 so this value will be equals to 5 now you found both these values now what you will do is you already know x minus y so somehow if you can get x plus y then you can find both the values of x and y so i will just divide these two elements so the first value is x plus y into x minus y this is the result of subtracting some a square from some n square and i will divide it by the difference of sum n minus sum a so this will be x minus y and the corresponding values will be 5 and this will be 1 now you can see that we can cancel out x minus y and so our result will be x plus y equals 5 now you got x plus y equals 5 and x minus y equals 1 so you can just add them up and the result will come out to be 2x equals to 6 so your missing number x will be equals to 3 and you can check it it's correct it will be 3 now you can easily find out y y will be equals to 5 minus x and that will be equals to 5 minus 3 which will be equals to 2 so you can see that 2 is repeating here so you can use this trick in order to get your answer very very efficiently this is a mathematical trick and this will run in just order of n time and order of one space so our previous method was also taking the same time but the space taken was o n so if n value is large then this will be hectic now there are some fail cases for this third method as well as the second method the second method fails when your array cannot be stored within the given size like if n value exceeds 10 to the power 9 and if you have some space restrictions then you cannot use this method and this third method fails when you cannot accommodate a value within your long long int because you will be calculating the square elements right so it should require long long int so it depends on the value of n actually but it should work for most of the cases and for your programming interviews as well i have provided the code for the second method so let us look at the code now so this is the code for our second method you can see that i have taken n inputs this tc is our number of test cases i have taken n as input and then i have taken repeating and missing number now as i already explained i took a present boolean type array and i assigned it to false then what i will do is i will iterate through all the elements all the n elements and then i will make it true i will make the values true if they are not true and if the values if the value is found out to be true then it must have occurred earlier and so our repeating number will be array at i otherwise we will keep making the values true now once we have found our repeating number then we will just traverse this present array and find the value wherever it's false and that will be our missing number so finally we will print both the repeating and missing numbers i hope you are able to understand this code i will provide it in the description section below so do check it out if you have any type of doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible thanks for subscribing and see you guys in the next video thank you